So you want to play games on your cell phone and your tablet, but you're sick of using the touch interface. The solution, Moga Game Controller. It uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone or tablet, and it's pretty simple to use. If you're familiar with an Xbox or PlayStation controller, this is pretty much a scaled down size of that. Trigger buttons on the back, left and right. You've got two analog joysticks, and you've got X, Y, A, B buttons. So underneath, you've got a kind of textured back, which is good for grip, and two AAA batteries power the MOGA device. It lasts for 15 hours. Your cell phone battery will run out before the MOGA controller does. It's got a little hook mechanism here that you can slide your phone into, and it holsters. It's got two little rubber pads to hold it together, um, and it, it works pretty well. So MOGA does provide a pivot software that helps you link your controller to your phone. It kind of works like a little app store that has uh, available games that are already mapped for the MOGA uh, controller. But that doesn't mean you can't use your favorite ROM emulator on your phone either. They do provide a universal mapping uh, software that you can download. And what that allows you to do is if you use, say, your favorite emulator, one of mine is SNES Droid, uh, you can play all your games uh, using this controller for that. So the first pro would be the design. It's slim, uh, it's got the rubberized back, it feels good in the hand when you're playing games. Uh, another pro would be the Bluetooth. It's simple to connect to your phone or tablet. Uh, and the third pro would be battery life. Uh, up to 15 hours and two AAA batteries. As for the cons, uh, the only con I could really think of is depending on what phone you may be using with this controller, um, it could interfere with some of the buttons on your phone. Now I've been using the Galaxy S3 as my tester phone with this. Uh, it works great. My only problem is the volume rocker slightly touches where it mounts to the pivot point. Uh, so kind of an issue trying to mess with the volume while you're playing, but overall, not a big deal. So is the MOGA a buy, try, or don't buy? If you have an Android phone and you like to play games on it, this is a definite buy. Uh, there's a, a lot of really good looking games that play on smartphones. And if you don't mind the battery life draining super quickly, uh, these are really powerful, portable gaming devices now, and the MOGA really helps take advantage of that. So if you like to play games on your smartphone and you're tired of using the touchscreen to do it, uh, this is a good alternative. And definitely something I would recommend if you like playing uh, old games with ROMs on your smartphone.